Welcome, I am Crimey Queen, and if you are joining us for the first time, it's the channel where we have fun with words and numbers, numerology to be precise. This is where we actualize self-love with the use of um, scriptural references, particularly in Genesis of chapter 1 and 2. Of course, the purpose of this is to see how those um, references have impacted on our lives and how we can deconstruct them and see how we can reconstruct them. Because that's what builders do, of course. That's what it's about. You tear down and we rebuild. This is what we do with our bodies as well. Suppose you were having a detox, you, of course, flush out and you rebuild. Of course, you can't build on what you, it does not make sense. You know, you have to get rid of what no longer serves you and then rebuild. You get it. So in case you're new to this channel, this is Mother Eve and this is the template that we work with from the um, sacrifice um, presentation we did in March of 2017. Now this is really a wonderful journey because this was done intuitively and we see now that it has become a very robust um, template in that it offers, um, it does offer a comprehensive outline of not only the um, story of Christ or um, the Last Supper or the um, crucifixion, but it really shows where we are today and what we need to apply and where we can be. It's like a, mark, a marker, we could say. Now, you may be wondering why we need a marker, but really when we look around, Everything that we uh, that is around us, including what is within us, our bodies, whether we had, um, I'm trying to remember how many um, arteries um, or ventricles to the heart and so on. It's all numbers, whether you had um, two kidneys or you had two, um, four chambers to the heart, four chambers to the brain. Those things are important for us to get a sense of who we are. Now, of course, who we are is not just the body. We know that. We have heard this. It is the mind that um, expands and the vibrations and the frequency. We know all that, but we can't say that, that it doesn't take a certain form or shape, that energy within us. Of course, it does. So... Basically, um, if you were to put water in a cup or an ice tree, whatever you put that water in, that's the shape it would take. And so I'm believing that the vibrations are operating in very similar manner, especially when it comes to numbers. I'm believing that each number and each letter in conjunction or whichever way we applied it has a certain pattern that it generates Hence, we could feel the air or, or um, coming in a spiral way or more profound in certain way than another way. Or um, I'm just saying, for instance, okay, I hope all this makes sense. Um, or to just be more precise, why something is solid and something is liquid and it's all energy. Okay. So on our sacrifice template, in case you're new, I'm just going to run this by you very um, quickly. And again, I don't think we could ever really um, get too used to this um, template because it, the more we go over it is the better that we get to understand the numbers and how they really um, resonate with us. So... As I say, it um, derives from the word sacrifice of nine letters. And of course, we have nine numbers. We work with the 26 numbers of the alphabet. And of course, when we add each column, as we see here, we end up with the numbers 369, 369, 369. So we have three blocks of 369, which reminds me, this 369 might be very... Um, um, very um, might be very connected with the first three 
um, not necessarily the first three, but the entrance of um, Mother Eve's, the said God, the words that she used, which we will be exploring, but it's when she says, let there be light. And the other time there was, let there be lights, or let there be a firmament, and then let there be lights. So I'm believing those three, six, nine, because that's where I'm, I'm heading to really break down and crack on the full code and meaning and construct of this 369, which I believe is in the Bible. And I have seen um, certain things already, but this is, we need to find this, um, this application. It is a mathematical equation there that I believe according to Nikola Tesla, when you crack it, you have no problems. Not that I have any problems, but I think my life will be much, um, I don't know. Well, life is a process. So of course, and we always project um, a sense of betterment um, in the future for us to experience. So in that case, yes. And of course, I would like, I would really, really do like to crack this thing for the sake of it, you know, and the fascination of it, because 369 is actually nine. So it would be interesting when I say actually nine, that means we add them all up together, it becomes 18. It would be interesting to see what 18 as one eight equal nine when we add the two figures together to see what it would both because already we know that's what it is so there's the vibration of course that resonates with us the number six and of course number nine or is already saying it's going to both adding all this together it must both something major and that's what we want to know okay so we also work with revelation revelation and water they both are very reflective elements and of course revelation equals 13 1 3 we have got lots of um presentations we've worked with as number 13 and of course mentioning number 13 we see that as we could say 13 gods um or representing the the 13 um at the table of jesus christ before his crucifixion of course christ being risen from the dead and come into another form would be the would be seen as the 14th the 14th god or representing the 14th god it's like it said and god sent his only begotten son so meaning basically he took on this form um, Christ took on the form, which I've always for some time been saying, I think he was very much Mother Eve. He was conveying a message, a motherly message. He was conveying a nurturing message. So that's what I am um, sticking to. And that's what has been evolving through my investigation. Investigation. <laughs> Yeah, it's funny. I used to love watching um, those movies uh, um, with investigations and, you know, those sort of things. So I suppose um, it's still in my blood somehow. Okay. And yeah, it just means that when you look at your life and see the things that really interest you, how you were preparing for whatever it is that you're doing. And I'm very good at really delving in and I want to see, I want to understand. So there we go about uh, um, working, um, looking at the sacrifice um, template. So this is here where number one, we do our jazz. Now, one thing I have discovered, and I'm going to just include it in here. So, um, for instance, when um, in chapter one, I think it is of um, Genesis, and God created man, and basically Mother Eve, or the said God, the said God to be precise, said, let us make man in our image and likeness after our kind. Okay. And for all, and it went on to say, and God made man in his own image and likeness. So we imagine that there are two people um, saying, one is saying, let us do this. And another one went off and done his own thing. 
that that gives that impression remember that mother eve is saying let us do this and basically there is a lot uh, more to all of this um when the god who done uh, man in his own image and likeness went on to do it's like and he made man in his own image and likeness he him meaning there's a he there's a him and them and male and female so we see five entries of whatever god made there now perhaps we should not really question why sometimes we can't really tell whether one is female or male or or um or anything to that effect because we see he he made he and he made him what is that saying to us these are questions that i have been really wanting answers for and i don't get people talking about those things what why would a God who really loves us be writing something like this that we couldn't understand. He made and he made he him. He him. Like it, there was a him, like a song, like that which you sang in church. And then he made them. In, in actual fact, them would already be male and female so why the um, stipulation of them so these are the questions that i would be asking and i'm thinking i know the people who well i know evidently the people who wrote the scriptures were not silly people at all to be writing a word that had no significance for them no 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 and um, of course Mathematically, we see that there is strong evidence that every word has been very um, thoughtfully and thoroughly and um, machinely, however it was calculated. Okay, so here we have um, this two hair is um, indicative of where Christ would have had... Um, the Last Supper, or we could say um, this is where the Last Supper had taken place. This is also where you and I would sit at a table and we're having discussions and we are all eating off of the same foods. We may have different views, viewpoints, but we are having discussions and because we are eating, we are very likely to be agreeing on the same things we are talking about the taste of the food we are talking about the presentation we are talking about the flavors we are talking about the cutlery we are talking about where uh where else could we find such lovely foods so this is what number two is about it is about agreement it is about we could even say seduction we could say it's about um partnership about marriage it's about um any any two getting together any two getting together on whatever terms once there were agreement this is where it would be as soon as you are coming together put it this way because you have got a common ground in that you are getting together so that's number two and i call it the bucket um the bucket or the basket of bread or um yeah the, the, those main two i call it the bucket of kentucky for whatever else because um kentucky i believe has tapped well into this um formula right here now just to show you why i'm saying such a thing this is where the food part happens and this is when mother eve says i have given you all food all um seed all trees or all fruit with seed or all herbs with seed bearing um, in it after its kind basically in the scriptures man was given everything all foods he wanted and everything had its seed in it everything that had its seed in it in it now there's another thing we need to 
um, also remember, I keep mentioning this pretty often because we have been given the spirit of sound mind. So basically, this was, um, this I believe is in 2 Timothy um, verse, or perhaps it's 2 and verse 7 thereabouts. Okay, but it's in 2 Timothy, I checked, that when it is said, I have not given you the spirit of fear, but I have given you the spirit of sound mind. So there we see that when it is said, I have given you every herb bearing seed after its every fruit. And the word eat, when we hear the word eat, it also means um, to eat something. E-A-T. Oftentimes, it means that as well in that um, context. That Those are things that help us to really um, deconstruct the, the, um, the language that has been used here. Okay, so why I'm making reference to that, I also noticed that I think it was from verse 1 to 4 or the fourth entry where Mother Eve would have made those statements, which I'm going to make reference on that, but it was there which would have come to number 10. Number 10 here is when we add numbers from 1 to 4. Now, 1 to 4 in this on this side of the scale comes under 9, which 9 is 9, sorry, R is 9. R represents, like here, R represents 9. So it is really saying that you were birthing a new, a newness right here. And this more we work with this, is more we see how the de it develops. Of course, this is development. So we had for the number four, we, we have a cross here, which you can see your north, south, east, and west. So for your develop um, your developmental stage, you are going for your north, south, east, and west. So you must come out with some sort of result at the end of it. You must come out with um, saying, okay, well, now I have gone full circle in this um, realm, I am going to go college, I am going to go uni, I am going to get a job, I am not going to do anything. So this is where like the blessing, if you like, we, we, this is another word was, okay, blessing, let's leave it at that. But this is where everything had been given. And the word given was actually stated there, which reminds me, which reminds me, I think there were certain things Mother Eve had given. That's interesting because there are nine entries. So Mother Eve gave. This is interesting. Yes. So Mother Eve gave man everything but to the gods she let meaning she was renting or letting allowing this is the business so these are the gods here and she has this um eight entry here the the eighth entry of course is let us make man this so this is where we at in or re, or preparing to be at if you like so on her, but she says let. So all those, the first entries that of words that Mother Eve would have um, spoken were to the gods. The first eight entries were to the gods of Genesis of chapter one. Of course, when man was created now, she says, I have given you everything I have given you so in actual fact sometimes um, people say um, which I understand people say well you know um, you know we're just passing through you know these things are just borrowed to us and so on they are given according to the scriptures they have been given but then that was food that was all about food. 
I have given you the herbs. I have given you the seeds. Now, seeds, when we plant um, corn, you put two, two seeds together. Usually, you put two seeds together in that hole to, to plant something, whatever it is. So, you plant in seeds. And that is what Mother Eve had given us. Now, the, here's the thing as well, that we are given the plants or, or the herbs with seeds. And of course, we have been given the order, whether it was through the said God or another God, to multiply, replenish, have dominion. It was said the said God, Mother Eve, to have dominion, um, replenish, multiply, and subdue. So there were five, there are also five things that we were given to do there. Now, this is where we see in that entry how the, um, the business, the huge business people have used the same mathematical or um, gift, if you like, to say to us, I am giving you here. This is where you are also getting buy one, get one free. Okay, so I have, I am giving you, I am giving you buy one, get one free or whatever. Come, this is where you are agreeing to eat of that because the seeds and herbs were all about food. The food, food is what is spoken about in the scriptures, not about clothes, not about shoes, not about being an entrepreneur or having the best settee or bed or traveling the world or anything like that. It was always food. Hence why we can see that from this stage, like I will make the reference later on into the one to 10, like in the word let as well, where Mother Eve make those references, the 10, because 10 is balance. This is where she gives that balance. I have given you everything, every seed and every everything after its kind. So this part here, you can call it your kindergarten stage. You are really having Eve here. You are really with Eve right there. It is your evening where you can misbehave. It is the evening where you can, where you hear mother's stories and you are actually partaking of her stories. You are partaking of the laughter in the night. So there's the R hair coming here under the S because this S hair is Mother Eve. This S be before this sacrifice is really Mother Eve. Now, um, hair with that nine as well is denoting the nine gods that I'm talking about in the Bible, in the Genesis of chapter, and there's 23, 30 on the, and Genesis of chapter one. So nine gods, this is what revelation is about. Revelation, now I thought maybe I would have to uncover, wow. Revelation starts, the R is in sync with the, it's the last book of the Bible corresponding with the first book of the Bible, number one. So we can see how this, this is very um, related, very related. Then with Revelation, of course, is showing us where Mother Eve says, I have given you all of these. So she even, Revelation even reveals, Revel, reveals Mother Eve right here in this, in this section. This is where things are given. Things are given. Now, of course, to go into another dimension, because this is where it said, when you've accepted, so things are given. Now you have um, in that 
um, agreement or partake in here because that's what the Kentucky or McDonald's or even the, um, the 12 at the table with Jesus. This is what was happening right here. There was agreement. So you go, you walk away with the your palate and talking about that food you ate, whether it made you feel nice or not, but you, it left it, it connected with every part of your being. That's what we learn when you eat something, it goes through your whole system. So that's, that's what happens here. And of course, how it resonates with you determines your luck or, or not, or your development, if you're eating good food or not, it does impact on your development right here. So we come, you get to a stage, you think, well, how long am I going to be doing this for? How long am I going to do this for? Now, of course, this coincides with the story, the part of the story, Eve in the garden, when it is said, do not eat of the tree. Now, this is another thing I'm going to work, I'm going to develop, not develop, but um, explore. But let's say, for instance, this would also be where, as I say, it is the evening. Eve is there with you and saying, okay, you want some more excitement. You want something new. And there's the L in Revelation. That is the liver. She's saying, I'm going to lift you and show you how to do this. She's, she even go, takes that position of the L, which is three. Of course, we have seen how three is also 10, like when we do, so, so this three that we see here is actually 10. So the word 10 is Five, five, two. When we add these together, is twelve. Twelve. So one plus two equals three. So that's how we get that three right there. So of course, as we see, ten was. So you are taking your ten self, if you like, your ten self, or whether your teen. Like in teens, I haven't quite worked out the age because I'm believing that this has layers of um, of explanation. It would probably tell us about our age, the, the stages of our development here as well. Okay, but there we have that three. Um, I said about three, which is coinciding with the ten. So your three, ten is also three. I knew, I just knew that that would happen. Mm -mm -mm. That is so delicious. I am, might have done this before, but it hadn't registered. It's when it registers, you really begin to taste how delicious this is. So we know 10 is free. And all we have to now see how 9 is also free. I'm sure I have done this before, but we're going to do all this. But now we see how 10 is 3. So if we do 3, let's just see. Let's just see. Let's just see. Oh, this is the wrong pen. I don't think it is, but let's see. THR should be a method to it. Five five nine eight two. This is ten twenty. It's twenty nine. So it's eleven. I've got it. I've got it. It's twenty nine. It's twenty nine. Oh, they do this so. Twenty nine. Twenty nine. Of course, we know how we got the numbers. We added all the numerical values of the letters. And of course, we get the common denominator. Yes, that's okay. But we also wanted to see the relationship with that common denominator with the numbers above it. And when we, so this is 2 plus 9 is 11. 11, 
So there is a thing about when we do, this is how 9-11 came about. This is 9-11 actually, E-L-E-V-E-N. When we learn how to use this, you are free. Five, five, four, five, three, talk about three, five, okay. Five, five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-four, and three is twenty-seven. Two plus seven equals nine. This is it. So now we work out that we here we won't be using the numbers like you do here. You add you add with the word the name of the word the not the not the symbol here. It's like you add three. Three. You find a numerical value for three until whatever you get this. This is nine. So three is eleven. But this is the magic about three. So we can do this with, oh, I know we are meant to be doing, oh, I hope you have been seeing this. <laughs> I'm not sure that. Okay. So we can, we can also do this with one because one I know is seven. Now, when we do seven, oh, seven sounds like it's going to be two, but let's see. I think, so one is seven. Three, okay, one is seven, so this is six, five, five. So 10 plus six is 16, one plus six is seven. Now when we do the numerical value for seven, this is like long division, S-E-V-E-N, but it helps you to understand the magnitude. Well, wouldn't we want to know why you um, people are selling you things you don't even want? Okay. Because they have learned how to tap into, into all of this. So this is 10. It's 20. So it's 2. So we get 2. But this is correct. This is correct. What, what did we do? We worked out. We worked out three. We worked out nine, and no, we went to one. So one is something else. But we've got um, three. One. We just did the one for. Did we do three? Okay. So we got one is actually. All right, we'll have to do this another time, but I'm getting two, which seem to coincide, but all right, let's not stray too much, okay? But I just thought I would go along with seeing whether um, there's that formula that was speaking to me, okay? So um, I know we've been going a long way with this, and um, so... There we have the luck, of course, we said with 10. And when you're in Christ, you're a new creature. Now, you that new creature, which we have said is the fox. The fox also has a job to find um, its north, south, east, and west because it's maybe in very new territory. And so it has to familiarize itself with its environment and, of course, get a sense of where it's at. And that requires us to be very... Um, vigilant and very cunning and very smart and very intelligent and to make wise decisions. Now, when I um, worked on this um, template, for instance, I was able to manipulate some letters here, like in development, luck, and jazz. And I wasn't able to touch this second this is the power of the whole thing. I wasn't able to touch this second um, row. The second row here is crucial to that which is, is the said God. So there we have the said God, for instance. We see under the said God the common denominator, which is two threes, 
that is the BKT, it equals 6. Likewise, the said God equals 15. 15. Okay, let's just do, I'll use a contrast. So this is 1, 1, 9, 4. When we add this together, we get 15. 10 plus 4, 14 and 1 is 5. 5 plus 1 is 6. And we know that we have been doing this. God is 8. God is 8. God is 8. God is 8. God is whatever you eat is God. Wow. The spirit of sound mind. God is 8. Whatever it is, whatever, this is where God is food. Perhaps that's why the um, Hindus and um, people practice putting food um, for, out for the gods because it's a bad food. Food is God and this is what I am, that reminds me, that's what the Bible speaks of. It's food, not clothes not um, furnitures and cars and stuff. It's food. God is eight. God ate. Eve ate. Eve ate and et is the same thing, number eight. So all the gods are about foods. Food is the title of all the gods. That is why I've just seen myself saying why and seeing my the mouth, the breath of mouth of um that is why people could find it very easy to influence one another through what is put in the mouth. Now, remember as well, it's not even just the mouth, it's the uterus as well, which has the same vibrational um, numerical value. So it's about what goes in the mouth, what goes in. In, of course, is five. I N nine plus five, 14. This, this is God, 14. Nine plus five is 14. In, which is what, which is the first word of the Bible where it says in the beginning. So, This is hence the reason why in that bucket, whenever you are having agreement, now we could also, we also know, like I'm finding this very delicious now, I'm absorbing the, um, the revelation in a palatable way because that's one of my modes of um, communication, if you like. Well, it is all our modes of communication, but um, processing my thoughts. And um, so that, of course, you could we could equate that to food. Hence, it is the word as well, because in the beginning was the word. Hence, wow, the word. And, of course, the said. So, word is synonymous with said because it equals the same six. It equals six. I'll just stick this here because I really um, want to keep this information. So, we have, this is five, six, nine, four. So, five and six is eleven and Nine is um, 20. Five and six is 11 and 20 and nine is 20. So it's 24. So two plus four is six. That's correct. 
two two plus four is six. And this is this is in line with the said God. This is what we are saying. The said God is fifteen. She's fifteen. She's the word. She's the one who says let. She's the one who says tell back to front because she words words of course sound is um sound goes out in um that circular motion sound um the rings of sound so of course it echoes back it echoes a c h o and it's just so this is um six eight three five this is 14 8 plus 6 is 14 and 3 is 17 and 5 is 32 8 plus 6 is 14 14 plus 3 is 17 17 plus 5 is 32 17 5 it's 32 no 22 22 so 22 17 22 so 22 is so basically that tells me as well if echo is 22 not meaning to drift too much talking about uranus uranus is going to rain buckets thunder echo i think it's gonna be uh lots of thunder echo echo because that's the direct vibration number 22 uranus is 22 echo is 22 you're gonna have direct vibration happening right there okay but um going back to her i'm just um going easy with this presentation because i think mentally it gives me a bit to um absorb or not absorb i'm trying to more or less get it off my head and so we can see how the food we will particularly so mankind we could say we're given food so you had your 369 to your next cycle of your three and then there's the um the other stage of your six where you think okay oh there is a need to do something new and have um but new experience something new experience new heights like your like your parents did you want to understand life and actually life equals five the word life l i f e it's three nine six five so this is 15 and 9 is 24 and 3 is 27 is this correct this is 15 20 23 23 2 plus 3 is 5 okay so 9 so you this is where you understand life you are offered a new life to be rebirth here and we as I say we have a list of words that coincide with with that we have a list of um, like Christ we have Christ we have um, Eve that goes up here we also have um, Shakti as the goddess is there we have the Kundalini that is in the new as well we have um, Paul the disciple Paul is 14 he goes up here because that was that's all about opening the third eye Paul when he was blind and of course we learned that 
on the road to Damascus he was blind and of course he regained his sight. This is the sight that he, he gained. The word divided also equals five, five because it means you are no longer living in that dimension anymore. You are in the upper chamber like Christ said. The word Shiva is also 23. Now, this gives me something to really talk about because 23, I have been exploring in the colors as I have been doing black and white, which is something I wanted to talk about. And I know I have drifted a bit, but I'm going to explore this with Shiva and Shakti. This is really going to be quite delicious. So, um, just to give you a few um, things with this, and, and we have waters. The word waters is 23. This is where we, we are wanting to be because, again, water is life. So we have wind. Of course, we need the wind. The, uh, that is breath. Again, that is life. Thermometer uh, for our temperature, that is 50, and that means it's 5. So we have... Um, the winters, we have the temperatures, we have a sense of temperature. So that is five. That's what Mother Eve has disposed or given us. Okay, and that is like showing that even when you're in the room, we're talking about a um, thermometer, um, is that a child is born, you want to make sure their temperature is right and everything is in place. So um there we have the word intuitive we have the word intuition we have the word breath we have the word king we have um and bear with me because i just really want to i have a a list of, of um words okay i probably don't have it with me right now but um we also did like time, space, and matter, I think that came to 23. Um, so really drawing on, it came to five anyway, whether it was in the form of 23 or, or 14, um, but it came to five. So this is really showing the magnitude of what we have been we have been promised in a sense when we are seeking the new life when we are seeking the new life so the new life i am getting the impression that it might have also meant that when it is said that it's not good for the man to be alone i am now believing that it's just coming to me because the man would not be alone in this in this stage because we need to remember, this is the thing as well, we have mixed where it's, um, we get confused with male and female. But here in this realm, this is a W, which is also three, which is also E or M. And this would also mean that's where men are. So men is in that section and we are required of course, not as male, female in this dimension here. The male, female or male comes here. Male is 10. I believe male is 10 or 3. Okay. Um, but certainly male is not beyond 5. I know that. Okay. So there we go into this um, stage. Eat of the fruit, of course, to open our third eye. But you need to be men there. Now, of course, in men there, it means that you come into this place. This five is really, again, the snake. I am so grateful and thankful to get this. I have been saying this intuitively, that the S, the S is like the snake. It's really the S. It takes on both the male and female um, attributes. We could see that with the square head and the curved part. So it's like it's showing a mascul the masculine and the feminine aspect of itself. That's the S in motion. That's the five. 
that's the five but the five offers itself as an anchor as the house as home as key these are words that i am telling you that it really actually means in five when we do the numerical value for those it offers uh, it is lock it is open it is all those words that really means that when you get into the, that dimension you have the key to open the door open to go to the chamber i think the word chamber or chambers would be 25 because up there is of different chambers as well so you have the key you go into this is the you open this is the opening the mouth the mouth equals five just like key is and of course this is what again that have been used connecting instead of instead of getting us to um, get into this new stage people are having a bait if you like that continually get us going back to this stage to stage two they continually get us to go back to this stage which is a ritualistic thing now this really re ritualistic thing as you see if you keep having junk food you want to keep having it you you know the carbs keep you wanting it because it doesn't really quench it's not satisfying it just becomes a drug and that is the same notion in fact when Christ said to his disciples because he broke bread bread he broke the bread now i think the word broke is very important here for that b that we have here which is like the 13. so now i'm feeling more comforted in that as well to have broken the bread meaning saying that you have to put it whole again something like that okay you can make me whole again i only do this little bit okay so this is what when Christ said to his disciples, have this bread, eat of this bread, again eat, eat of this bread, I think the word eat was mentioned, eat of this bread, and every time you take or take of this bread or eat of it, what every time you do this, remember. Now the member is really when we look at the word remember it really derives from the um, membrane so he is say he said remember when you eat of this there's an actual statement so the spirit of sound mind is also in motion while they are eating now that's crucial so while they are eating and while they are drinking and he is actually saying when you take this remember this you are having of my flesh now for me to do that on my own i would seem very satanic and god knows but anyway we're not talking about me okay and he gives of the wine and he says when you drink of this remember you are drinking of my blood you are drinking of my blood this is so of course they are not arguing we have no record saying that they are arguing and saying what are you talking about why would we want to drink your blood why should we remember it's your blood that we are drinking there is no such mention it would seem as if it was customary for people to do that this is the impression i am getting now it wasn't it didn't seem like a shock he said it's as if it was customary that you do that as a parting because he's saying i won't be with you all the time i won't be with you anymore so when you do this remember oh it, that by that way I will be with you all the time. We are talking food again. Food, the palate, the mouth, the taste, the tongue that equals 10, the mouth that equals five. Now Eve equals five, Adam equals 10. 
man equals 10. So we are talking about that aspect of our, it's as if we are eating ourselves. That's exactly what it's, it's like we are being served ourselves and we have to eat of ourselves. Because blood equals three. When we do the numerical value for 10, like I have done on here, when we do the numerical value for 10, it's five, five, two. Of course, there were 12 disciples as well. This is five plus five, 10 and two is 12. Of course, two plus one is three. And then we understand about the Trinity. Then we understand how 10 comes into play, how 10 becomes so powerful. In fact, now I am understanding the power of 10. And of course, while I'm here, I'm going to say it again with emphasis that 10 is the first word. Of course, 3 is the first, the first value, the value of the first letter that Mother said, Mother God said is 3, which coincides with 10. It coincides with 10. So 1 plus 2 is 3. Here. So let's just do this. So, so the first value, which is L, because that's when the first thing she says, let there be. So we can see now how the story of Christ in itself is so connected to Genesis of chapter 1, verse 3. This is verse, this comes from verse 3, and we are talking about the number 3, and we are talking about the number 10. Because L-E-T is 3, 5, 2. When we add these together, gives us 10. So, there is the 10 that Christ was serving, we could say, was serving it was his blood because the word blood okay the word blood b l double o d it's four six six of course we have the two o's it's as if saying mother and son um in the, the two sixes. Okay. Three, two. Okay. So this is 10, 16, 17, 18, 19, and two is 21. Two plus one is the reverse to this. So again, we can see with the blood, the number 21 reflecting 12, they mirror each other. These are the exact words I've been saying that Christ's um, the sacrifice was been was mirroring his mother, his everything that he was talking about his mother. He was teaching Eve. He was teaching mother nurturing. So he spoke about blood. He mentioned blood. And mentioned wine, which is in which is two sixes. Of course, we see two sixes for wine because that is um, wine is six. No, so six is two threes. Sorry. So of course, in the wine itself, is if the wine is what because it's an intoxicating thing. It marries. It marries the the bread in it. The bread vibration in it. And that's why we see when, about um, the ritual of the Holy Communion, whether it was in the Catholic Church or the Seventh-day Adventist or other um, Pentecostal or the Christian, um, that's what I can speak of. So those rituals go on and they're about food that connect, that takes one. So you you find yourself in a psychical um um, paradigm 
Just keep going through that notion. You keep going through the mill. You go to the number two. You have this union. Of course, number two, we can't really run away from it because that's the place of agreement. That's the place of partnership. That's the place of uh, marriage. It's the place of polarities or dualities. And, and um, that is what it is. So basically, um, we see that um, this is what I'm saying, that we go through the cycle. It's like psychical um, motion. You go to, so then you accept Christ. You go in that, um, this stage here. In fact, when it is said you go in Christ, I don't think for many of these people, well, let me hold my breath on that. It's as if the food just about gets digested, but not necessarily get into the know. So when, when we are said to know thyself, know how the palate and every aspect of that fruit you are eating to il get illuminated because we keep going back to that. Now, perhaps it's nothing wrong going back to that, having your ritual, perhaps not at all. But I'm not sure, but we can see how the industries have tapped into this part. This is the emphasis that I am making here. Now, not even so much only the industries have done that with food. They've done that with food and they've done it around specific um, people um giving or feeding people with junk food or making it available or um, predominantly available as and of course this is where you get buy one the, the letter b buy one and get one free and we see the free takes you right back to your jazz because you are not thinking we are, we are not thinking when we are just in that buy one, get one free zone. We are doing jazz. We are dancing a jazz. We are dancing a game that really forces us to get back to this number two again, going through the same agreement again. This is addiction. This is the model of addiction. You buy, you go in here, you have this communion, you put, um, you are served with, whatever, because you, you're served, I mean, McDonald's, for instance, you probably serve very quickly or get lots for what you think your money is worth. And so you go with that, buy one, get one free. You both, this is nine, you are both in a, a adrenaline or a, a thrust for more because you had one free, you had it free. And you, do, you have not taken the time to understand what free means. So in free, for instance, freedom and free is different. Okay. So um, this is a long presentation and I do understand, but I felt that I needed to just go with the flow and not rush it. I still want to do a presentation on colors, like I mentioned, but again, I feel I've just been guided to go along this in the, in the way that I have, because it's really no good um, buying one, getting one free. <laughs> Let me thank you for watching and I, I do value your time. And of course, I'm hoping that it is, uh, it meets, um, the energy that you have put in, put it this, put it this way. Thank you. Namaste. Spill over with love.